Bible is a book you've read and what it says you do. It tells tall tales of men long dead from when the world was new. When humans and the giants went, now how could that be true? When Moses led the Israelites from Egypt's slavery hold, they wandered in the desert dry for forty years it's told. Then they came to Mount Sinai where miracles unfold. And that's the order of events in Deuteronomy. From Exodus the tale was bent as you will plainly see. Mount Sinai first, then life intense, then on toward Galilee. When Jesus died, there was a sign he was the king of Jews. In the Gospels you will find all four spread this good news. At birth the same is said in kind, but stories get confused. Luke and Matthew tell the tale of the nativity. Mark and John omit and fail to tell of Christmas glee. If Jesus were the king and paled, at birth comes the decree. Gospels number four today, it was not always so. In ancient times they were arrayed across the land to grow. The Christian message was conveyed by verbal ebb and flow. But when Nicaea was convened, the number was to shrink. Uranias saw the world flat as a skating rink. Earth was stable, moving sky, that's how the ancients think. The pillars four from depths did rise, and in the corners stood. Support creation, hold it high, keep evil from the good. The Gospels four would signify foundation if they could. And that is how the book was writ, by parts and not as whole. But Sundays in the church we sit, and of the book we're told. By a wealthy man from pulpit, the sorry scam were sold. But what if to a dump we went, and were guided round? With garbage piled and rent and bent, where treasure might be found. Most is trash with stories meant to teach and seem profound. And after hearing of these tales, we group and talk of life. The stories would relate wholesale, for human speech is rife. With tales of growth and love so frail, and passions cutting knife. Strong emotions brought to rouse and stories are rehashed. A preacher timid as a mouse every Sunday begs for cash. Take your Bible from your house and throw it in the trash. Foolish clergy claim their rights, all morals they surpass. For their religion they must fight no matter who's harassed. So take your Bible from my sight and shove it up your...